Roman Reigns has been absent from WWE since the end of his historic 1,316-day reign as the undisputed WWE Universal Champion at WrestleMania 40. The impact of the Tribal Chief's absence is especially noticeable within the Bloodline, where Solo Sokoa has seemingly orchestrated a hostile takeover. The Enforcer has become increasingly assertive since assuming control of the group, even bringing Tama Tonga and Tom Deloa into the fold. This shift has led fans to clamor for Reign's return, with We Want Roman, chants echoing louder with each segment involving Sokoa and his faction. This strong fan sentiment has sparked an important debate, should the head of the table return as a heel or a baby face? While there are compelling arguments for both scenarios, a heroic return seems like the better option. Here are four reasons why Roman Reigns should come back to WWE as a babyface. Number 4. Roman Reigns returning to WWE as a babyface would be better for Solo Sokoa. Since Roman Reigns was dethroned at WrestleMania 40, Solo Sokoa has emerged as a dominant heel on WWE SmackDown. The street champ has successfully restructured the bloodline to his vision, effectively generating heat and positioning himself as a top threat. With significant victories over Randy Orton and Kevin Owens, even sidelining the prizefighter, the group is steadily rising within the Stamford-based promotion. If Roman Reigns returned as a heel, it would undermine Sokoa's momentum and overshadow his achievements. However, a babyface return for the Tribal Chief would create an exciting conflict that benefits everyone involved. Solo's reign as the tribal heir would face its ultimate challenge, giving him the opportunity to prove himself as a leader, whether he succeeds or fails. This dynamic can only unfold if Reigns comes back as a babyface. Number 3. Recent events in the bloodline point to Roman Reigns returning to WWE as a babyface. Since Roman Reigns' last appearance in WWE, the bloodline has transformed into a nearly unrecognizable faction. Solo Sokoa has gone from the tribal heir to a rebellious usurper, Paul Heyman from a confident mouthpiece to a cowering hostage, and Jimmy Uso from a trusted lieutenant to a discarded outcast. The new bloodline, now featuring Sokoa, Tama Tonga, the Wiseman, and Tonga Loa, bears little resemblance to the family reigns once built. Will the tribal chief accept the changes made in his absence by the enforcer, presumably under his orders? Will the Usos' younger brother relinquish his newfound power? Will Reigns overlook Solo's harsh treatment of his wise men? It seems unlikely, making a babyface turn for Reigns a safe bet. Number 2. The Rock is a big reason why Roman Reigns must return to WWE as a babyface. WWE's decision to have Cody Rhodes finish his story added a fascinating twist to the Bloodline's narrative on the road to WrestleMania 40. Initially, The Rock was set to face a heel Roman Reigns as a babyface but had to turn heel and join the bloodline. This shift resonated well with the audience, culminating in the American Nightmare dethroning the Tribal Chief in a memorable WrestleMania moment. However, a major question remains unresolved within the bloodline, who is the true leader of the family? Did The Rock truly fall in line with the Tribal Chief? There have been subtle hints suggesting that the Great One might turn against his cousin and seize control of the family. The Brahma Bulls heel persona feels fresher than the head of the tables, making it more logical for Reigns to return as a babyface when they eventually collide. Reigns must return to WWE as a babyface to avoid being overshadowed by his cousin, who is arguably a more formidable heel. Additionally, a babyface heel dynamic will enhance their eventual showdown, especially since The Rock is likely to remain a heel for his anticipated match against Cody Rhodes. Number 1. Roman Reigns' heel persona revolved around the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. When Roman Reigns returned to WWE in 2020, he executed a long overdue heel turn with masterful precision. Fans had grown weary of the big dog persona, and Reigns needed a fresh direction to elevate his bloodline, potential opponents, and the Universal Championship. In the storyline, he needed the championship to provide for his family and command respect. Fast forward to 2024, and the Tribal Chief's run as a villain has achieved its goals perfectly. There's little left for this domineering character to accomplish beyond a potential rematch with Cody Rhodes, a storyline best left for the future. Without the title that defined his heel persona, is there any reason to keep Reigns as a villain? 
the time is ripe for a babyface turn. He has done everything possible with the greatest prize in the company, earning the acknowledgement he sought. Now, a heroic return would offer new opportunities and refresh his character. What's your take on this? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon for more interesting content like this in future. Till then see you all in the next one. Thanks!